Peggy 7. I was in when they said, you want to make a Mickey Mouse game. But when they told me they'd gotten Oswald back, I, I, I lost it. I mean, I was done. I'm an old animation buff. I mean, I knew about Oswald before they mentioned him to me, which is kind of rare. And when they said, you're going to have the opportunity to present Oswald on screen in a new Disney story for the first time since 1928, I, I mean, what an honor. Well, Oswald the, the Lucky Rabbit was Walt Disney's first cartoon star, and, and he, he predates Mickey, of course. He's such a rich character, and if you look back at the old animation, it was so fun and so exciting. Oswald was different from other animated film stars of that time. Those cartoons that Walt Nub made were, they were little gems of storytelling. They weren't just a string of gags. Oswald would fall in love, have to deal with a rival. He would go to war. He would, uh, he would do all sorts of things. He was way ahead of his time. You know, very quickly, the Oswald cartoons became among the most popular silent cartoons of the late 20s. Oswald was a big star. In the late 20s, after just about 18 months of prominence, Walt went to his distributor uh, to renew his contract and wanted more money to make better cartoons. I mean, even then, Walt was all about quality. And the distributor said, no, not only are we not gonna give you more, we're gonna take your staff, we own the rights to the character, check your contract, uh, and you're out of work. After losing that character, Walt went back to the drawing board, literally, and Mickey Mouse comes into being. And so Mickey Mouse goes down a path of success no one saw it coming. Maybe Walt did, but you know, he is what he is. Everyone on Earth knows who Mickey Mouse is. And Oswald just kind of disappeared. There are all sorts of stories about how Mickey was created, but he was created only because the rights to Oswald had been lost. That's the tragedy of Oswald. Uh, he, he really was poised to be the most successful and popular cartoon star in the world. Uh, but uh, Mickey came along, and uh, the rest is history. Oswald came back into the Disney fold in 2006, not to star in Disney Epic Mickey, but rather to serve as a catalyst for the game because really he was the first forgotten character in Disney history. That's kind of the factual story. The sort of, the heart of that story though is, Oswald is Mickey Mouse's older brother. Uh, and Oswald looks at Mickey's success and just says, I was famous. You stole the life that should have been mine. We ran with that idea, not only playing with uh, his kind of sibling rivalry, the forgotten brother, but we also used him as a path for redemption for Mickey. In his own arc, finding out that he had family that he had forgotten or didn't even know about, but then also trying to find his way through crafting this relationship once again with this person that he didn't even know was family. He's an emotional touchstone for Mickey, for players. Uh, as you see Oswald change in the way he's responding to Mickey because of what the player is doing as Mickey, you can sort of gauge your progress. Oswald ultimately does re-engage with Mickey. Mickey does redeem Oswald. And that growing relationship is a measure of the player's progress. I love Oswald, and I want to make him a hero too. That's, you know, kind of goal 1.5 for this project. I remind people how incredible a character Oswald is and set him up for, for success as a cartoon star, as a plush toy, you know, you name it. I want Oswald everywhere because he deserves it.